my sunset. So I'll come out tonight, hour before the sun goes down. We call this the golden hour. And you can probably see why it's called the golden hour because of the light. Um, also, you can probably see <laughs> it's, it's really windy. One thing about being a photographer is you don't care about the weather. Obviously, this does help because it's nice and sunny, but it does get ever so windy here in Spain, especially in the afternoons. Um, so you have to make do what you got, what we got. Anyway, past couple of nights, I've been watching the sun going down. It's not ideal, even though you can you can see lovely sun up there, but there's no there's no cloud. Two nights ago, there was a little bit of cloud. It was fantastic. A lovely red sky with oranges and yellows. Fantastic. Tonight, I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, <clears throat> I found this old ruin not far from where I live. Um, it's the ideal thing that I want to do tonight, catching the sun going through these buildings. So let's see how we get on. Let's see if we do get a nice red sun tonight. That's one thing about what I love about photography. You just never know what's going to happen. And I always call it a task or a project. Make do what you got. I'm trying to keep my hat on my head. <laughs> but yeah, um, it'd be interesting to see what happens tonight unless I, I get blown away. Well, as you can see, I've got my tripod. <laughs> I've had this tripod for yonks. It's a lovely tripod. It's nice and sturdy. Right, I said to you at the beginning of my vlogs that I'm a click and shoot man. And you can see here I've got my tripod. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to use it. If I was doing a, a competition shoot or um, something for a magazine, yeah, I'd probably use a tripod. But just for taking photographs, do you really need a tripod? And I'm saying, no, you don't. <laughs> so I'm going about now taking some photographs. I've got a bloody fall on my foot. Another thing I haven't taken tonight, I haven't taken any filters with me. I don't like using filters myself, but I am going to try some filters. Anyway, I'm just going to stop this now because I've got a bloody thing in my foot. So, slight change of plan. One thing I found, maybe not a good idea going out with your sandals. Uh, the wildness in Spain <laughs> is rather coarse and sharp. Rather prickly is the other word, I suppose. And uh, yeah, it was killing my feet. And also, this is what I love about photography. You get one idea, oh yeah, it looked nice. Uh, some buildings, the sun going through it, but no, it, it just didn't look right. So I've changed my location. So I've got a nice big flat ridge here. Um, mountains in front of me. This is the Sierra Spooner. The sun's going down. Um, no cloud, but there's a bit of a haze now. There's a bit. The yellow is just starting to pick up a bit. So. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can just catch it. It's just starting to go down now. So that's what I like. 
I'm gonna try my zoom lens. I'm getting them. I can see I'm getting speckles on the screen. I see anything about wide-angle lenses, especially this one. It does pick up um, what I call little bubbles, but they can be rectified in Photoshop or Light Lightroom. But <clears throat> sometimes they look quite effective when you get these rays. Anyway, I'm also gonna have me me zoom lens I want to take some once that sun goes down it'd be great yeah.